Oh. Oh. So it's fine when she does it. It's a problem when he does it. That's rough, buddy. Generic control in the back goes. We're back with some more overanalyzing Avatar. Today we have the Boiling Rock Part 1, which is the prison where they're trying to break all the people that were at the failed invasion where they got taken to prison. I absolutely love the Boiling Rock episode, this one and the next one with Megan Tylee and all of that. But that's the next video. They're gonna have the breakout plane. It's gonna be really, really exciting. You should reaction to the last one, which was the Firebending Masters, which was a copyright nightmare. I'll leave a reaction to that video right up there. Also gonna link down below the description, also be in a place on my channel with all my other overanalyzing after reactions going in chronological order if you want to binge watch to all of those shout out to all the patrons and all the people that leave comments and everybody that watches these videos the patrons allow this series to exist for three dollars a month to get all my reaction videos a day early and i do a lot of videos i do 16 videos a week that go out to the patrons i technically do 18 videos a week but 16 of those videos go to the patrons the other two are stream bots so they don't really count because they're not new content because you could watch it live on twitch but the boiling rock part one it's gonna be interesting i remember the warden i don't remember this episode being this close to the end of avatar though as we are getting really close to the end of avatar only a few more episodes to go and i hope to see you there so i hope you're subscribed but let's go ahead and jump into the boiling rock part one all right i love the boiling Another rock video from Sock in the recap this time of course the first time he's talking about their if anything's ever blurred youtube's copyright system it makes and my life in the recap how are we all gonna escape okay well, I can't makes my life so starts, much harder. But the punchline is, leave me alone. I'm Bush. Zuko only served Haru and the Duke Spot so far, her. but Katara already has a cup for some reason in this shot before she's there actually before. served two shots later. Maybe that's because oh. he remembers the whole thing. <laughs> I also like that Katara serves Zuko a slightly less serious roasting here, so much so that Zuko can even take it in stride. Seems almost like she's <laughs> warming up to him the way she delivers it, but we'll get around to that later. Also, oh, seems yeah. like Zuko's oh. team making skills got an upgrade from working at Paz in the Jasmine Dragon. No one's spitting it out, at least, or throwing it out windows. Though there yeah. are no windows in the Well, maybe vicinity. they just don't know it's good not tea. Good, Sokka. Please. My guess is they were taken to the Boiling Rock. Zuko's largely wrong here, actually. Hakoda doesn't even show up at the Boiling Rock until days after the fact. So where did the rest of the crew get taken? To the same uh, prison Haro was in, just outside of the capital? Well, yeah. That'd actually, be a terrible yeah, idea. Is the answer. So where is I guess place? it'd be safe there. It's in the middle of a volcano between here and the Fire Nation. Zuko's wording brings up a strange point here. On the map, each of the air temples are in their own assigned air nomad territory. But yeah, after the Fire Nation killed all the air nomads, they didn't take this land for themselves? The guys who are actively annexing Earth Kingdom land while there's plenty of Earth Kingdomers still around? Zuko phrases it as if this isn't yeah. Fire Nation land. So whose land is it? It's not mine, I'll tell you that much. <sighs> I, I like this little detail wow. of having your feet up here as to not notice Sock is sneaking off. But also, we've been shown countless oh. times it doesn't need to be your feet that feel the vibrations for her to see. Though they probably are the most sensitive, and she's sleeping, so it's still a nice touch. But she didn't Wait, make her little tent thing. Sokka bag? Whatever happened to his Earth Kingdom bag? Or old faithful blue Zig? He's in the Fire Kingdom. still hanging or... around for a while? Man, I hate new bag. Hate new bag. Not up to anything, huh? <laughs> Okay, I mean, I reckon Toph would feel that if she felt Combustion Man coming while she was asleep. For or that maybe far someone away. would just hear that with their ears, like their normal ears. Fine, you caught me. I'm gonna rescue my dad. You happy now? I'm never happy. But he's done. He's achieved ascended crawling. I have to regain what? my honor. You can't stop me, Zuko. You need to regain your honor. Regain your honor? That's Believe a weird me, way it. of wording it. I'm going with you. I like that Zuko actually steps into the role of Iroh here in more than just a jokey sense later in the episode. This is the exact situation Iroh was faced with when Zuko was banished, and he stepped up for him. So the now same Zuko place trying too. to emulate his uncle and what he stands for feels like he should fill this role for someone else, and that's a really cool beat in Zuko's arc. How are you going to get there? On Appa? This is the first time Zuko ever says Appa, I'm pretty sure. Every other episode really? he just says the bison, or even last episode he called him this thing. I don't know why, but I thought this thing would be a lot faster. Do this is the first time he's called him Appa. And ten hot squats every time you hear a badger frog croak. Nobody else has homework. No one else has <laughs> to fight fucking firebending Mike Tyson. I already know <laughs> how to <laughs> squat Tyson. and breathe and feel the sun. I want to know how to shoot fire out of my fingertips. You know, a friend of mine actually designed these war balloons. Thank you. Uh -huh. Sokka agrees with me. He doesn't even take credit for the air balloons. God, I'm so right right now. Yep. A balloon. But yep. for war. I don't know of any balloons not for war in this show, actually. Were there even any at the uh, Fire Days Festival? No. No. Check. Balloons are exclusively weapons of death in this world. I think There's no decorative balloons. Leaving your home to come help us? That's hard. Once again, I just love when two characters can just be earnest and be friends in this show. It does it True. so well. Even the vibe of two characters getting well, I also love Zuko working really with well the main cast. Scene. My first girlfriend turned into the moon. That's rough, buddy. 
That's rough, buddy. What there it is. What can I say that hasn't already Ooh, been That's said? rough, it's buddy. Genius. The lack of Zuko even asking for context, just accepting this completely insane statement for fact, and just simply agreeing and being like, yeah, wow, man, that sucks, is comedy gold. Yeah. That's rough, buddy. There's plenty of steam to keep us covered. Damn, that's lucky, actually, seemingly. For the rest of the time you're there, it's clear skies. Yeah. The balloon's not working anymore. Because the air around it's the also hot. It's just as hot as the air inside, so we can't fly. You uh -huh. win again, gravity. Gravity. Oh, so what are we supposed to do? Crash. Wait, what? How'd you get over there? I mean, how did Zuko get over here? It was on the other side. Uh, no one saw that. Add another on the list of soccer refusing to keep his mouth shut in awful situations. Mm -hmm. You think he'd learn? My you think he'd gotten sick? I had to come and see. Uncle always said I never thought things through. He did say that verbatim, actually. You never think these things through. Yeah, he literally There's a lot did. Of I can't wait for the reunion. These two episodes take. Like we got to commercial here, and then we're just supposed to accept that these two snuck into the prison somehow and stole some guard uniforms. Sneaking in would be just as hard as sneaking out, right? Or at least pretty close. Yes. This is an enormous part of this mission that just gets hand waved away, but it's kind of hard to notice since we just move on so quickly. Guards. There's a scuffle in the yard. A scuffle. That's a yeah, lot of guards. 30 of us guards who are running in alternating order of uh -huh. short and tall need your help. Short and short and tall. Yay, fire bending back, which is a Damn, big no-no. just did some water bending shit here. Not often do you see a fire bender catch someone's fire and throw it back. Hey, new guy. I know it's the rule to have your helmet on at all times, but oh, that's this is the, the rule. lounge. Relax. Speaking of the helmets, once again, we're met with some more fire imagery. The eye holes and this third hole on the forehead are... all add up to some vague reference to the shape of fire, if you ask me. No, are they supposed you to be can't date I, the maybe. female guards. Trust me, you don't want to. Ow, fuck, dude. For some reason, I so, always thought this was like a bread roll that's or a cup. something. She talked no, it's about a cup. She just domed him in the temple with a cup. The boiling rock. Could, I guess it's on plastic. Fire Nation's most probably be ceramic. Right? So what about war prisoners? Oh, I'm glad you asked very young new guy that refuses to take his helmet off suspiciously. I'm yeah. happy to get into it. I mean, they would recognize him. cold in there. That's why we call it the cooler. He won't be firebending in there. That's an interesting point you've brought up, Gar. Uh -huh. So that would lead me to believe firebending uses some sort of ambient heat in the environment or one's own body heat. But we've also Maybe? seen Zuko come out of Arctic waters and use his breath of fire to heat himself back up. He even does the same thing in this episode. So I guess this must be some pretty advanced shit, right? If this is the highest hey, is level it? of security for a prison in the Fire Nation, you'd think there'd be some pretty nasty firebenders. That is a little bit of an issue. Keep warm, a super high level Iro technique that only he and Zuko know? It's the warden. Look That's alive. it. Oh, there's the I know warden. Why he's the warden. He can smell trouble. Look at this thing hanging off his face. There's not a crime committed within a 10 mile radius he can't sniff. <laughs> that out. is a no massive one has sniffer. Ever, ever escape from here. I'd sooner jump in the boiling lake myself than let that record fall. Oh, well. Don't forget it. I've come in here to simply stunt on you and tell the audience about the prison's perfect record. Yep. And now I take my leave. I'm Goodbye. Your father's not here. What? Are you sure? Did you double check? Yeah. I'm sure. This is a goofy little scene, and Zuko makes a fool of himself, but it is the second time now we've seen him try but to now they're what stuck Iroh there. would do. It's a more obvious version of him trying to fill Iroh's role here, but still, it's appreciated. It's nice that Zuko's ultimate view of a good guy is, in fact, his own. Iroh, yeah. Because he is. It's Suki. So this prison Hi, is Suki. specifically for the most dangerous Fire Nation criminals, right? Next so why episode, Suki it seems there? seems like there's a through line of leaders of factions getting sent here, too. But if you ask me, this adds up to Suki actually giving Azula a pretty good scrap. You mean you don't Probably. recognize me? You people all look the same to me. Oh, then maybe you recognize this. And this is a direct call back to when Suki said the exact same line to Sokka back in the Serpent's Pass. You mean you don't remember? Maybe you remember this. Oh, oh. Suki! So it's fine when she does it. It's a problem when he does it. I'm so glad to see you, Sokka. I knew you'd come. This is really nice and all, and I like Suki a lot, and obviously Sokka is one of my favorite characters, but shit. Suki puts a lot of faith in a guy she's really only spent a handful of days with, maybe a week. Sure, they kissed before, but still, it's more likely foaming mouth guy would bust in and get you out. Get Fair. him off me and arrest him! <laughs> I really like here that Sokka starts with, like, super small steps. I don't know why, but it really gets across the fact that he's really thinking here. Like, yeah. the line's going a mile a minute, like, fuck, fuck, Like, what fuck, do I do? Fuck. What do I do? I thought I'd find you in here. Prince Zuko. How did oh. you know who I am? The scar. The, yeah, wow. How could I not? All the reasons. You broke my niece's heart. Oh, well, I mean, it could be that, too. If these oh, criminals that's found out who maze. you are, the traitor prince who let his nation down, 
Why they dare you to shreds. Really? If I was being in prison, I, I don't know if my national pride would be all that high. I mean, you're would, being no, you're not even a citizen. The country. You're not even I'd be like, fuck vote. yeah, fuck the royals, consume the wealthy. Actually, we met a long time ago. We did? Yeah, you kind of burned down my village. Wow, sometimes oh, the show yeah. just does the overanalyzing for me. I heard you hatching an escape plan, and I want in. The only thing we're hatching is an egg can i offer you a nice egg in this trying time yeah, an, egg. an egg what okay, is well, what I come why is it what warden hears about i have so many egg. questions i guess we have no choice okay you're in i guess we have no choice come on uh yeah hey, who's that you watch who you're shoving no fire baby. i think you mean who I'm shoving. No, you're messing it up, Chit Sang. You're overanalyzing all wrong. You sound like yeah. me back in book one. Jesus. Book one. He has come a long way. Dude, what happens to the color in this one shot? Suddenly everyone's all gray for some reason. Everything uh -huh. else seems fine color wise, but all the people in their clothes are gray. How does that happen? I guess because it's dark. Get in the cooler. I can take you back to your cell if you've learned your lesson. It's just more really convenient all the stuff happening, right? Like, it's crazy that out of all the guards, Sock is the one to go take Zuko back to his cell. Yeah, out of when all there's a of lot them, of guards. It just seems like everything lines up too easily in this episode. Yeah, and here's that super high-level tech that we saw Zuko use back he kept in the North Pole upon a time that I mentioned. Nah, just the usual. Some robbers, couple traders, some war prisoners. No, oh, I did hear there might be a pirate. That's good. And That's like, good. how in the world did this happen? They got this gigantic metal cylinder from the inside of the walls to the outside without, without anyone without noticing or questioning falling anything. Falling or making a bunch of noise. Leap in logic out of all of them, and I, I can't ignore it. This is egregious. This here's my girl and my best buddy. They're coming too. So I guess getting them out of their cells. It's to saying out of their cells a few minutes ago. And Sokka I guess kind of security's low. Here, so how did they because of here? the water? If just cut my losses at the invasion. Maybe we wouldn't be in this mess. Maybe sometimes there's it's just like, better yeah, there's no way they can leave before you fail. No, it's not. Zuko speaks from experience, and the viewer knows that. Sokka has this personal little journey of redemption in this two-parter that's kind of an expedited version of Zuko's journey, with all of the second guessing True. and plans it's very expedited. and the problems that his had. So him speaking frankly here, and not trying to fill Iroh's role necessarily, but just being himself and being honest, and still filling Dude, Iroh's sword. role is awesome. You have Space to try sword. every time. You can't quit because you're afraid you might fail. I'm not That's leaving without you. That's such a good word of advice. I'm saying too. Not me. I'm out. And they get Let's caught. Roll, baby. I can use this to battle. Uh huh. It's a little hot. Yep. Nintendo's All Stars and, and yelled and New let him know. Arriving. More of these and the crazy harpoon. harpoon ballistas that we see the Fire Nation use sometimes. I swear this is like the most powerful weapon in the entire world. If I was the Fire Lord, I would just make a bunch of these and rename uh -huh. themselves to the Harpoon Ballista Nation. I think you'd have a better shot at winning the war if you just made one million of these. What the hell happened to Zuko? Everyone is kind of gray in this scene for some reason. But Zuko is lit entirely differently, and his scar is gray. What? I. Do it must be color. That's not him. Dad. This is actually the only episode that ends on a to be continued screen, which feels super Wait, weird. Wait, really? That's so the only one? The strongest that does that? The show, I'll tell you that. Much like the Invasion 2 part, I thought it was cool. is really paced out more like one long 45 minute episode. So not much happens in this one. Like, no big action scene at the end. It's a lot of setup. What it sets yeah, up is like interesting, it. but unlike the Invasion, it doesn't really have the novelty of also the, the lessons power that and the talking brought back to carry its first part. That, along with a lot of the really big leaps in logic, make this episode feel less thought out than a lot of other episodes. I do like Zuko trying to fill an Iroh role for Sokka that's my favorite part of the episode and honestly their yeah. dynamic of just being buddies is pretty fun too I, but it's yeah, not I like enough that to really well. carry this to being anything more than just pretty good patron shout outs if oh, you want to be two episodes ahead also, i feel like the last four minutes of all these videos are always patron shout outs Link, oh, it's only two always, is in the description below the video biggest shout outs of all go to my top patrons agent rhino who can make anything mini large minivan no that's a van bread and murphy oh. who's actually only artificially alive on the internet donnie snow who rewrote the ending of lost and everyone actually loved it dylan Malvo, who actually has the mental strength to believe it's not butter garrett kane last the center of the praying mantis people that owned the earth before us. Jared oh. Kraft, who came up with the number five. Genius, honestly. Fits perfectly right there between four and six. Caitlin, who can snap as hard as that mantis shrimp thing at the bottom of the Oh ocean. my Kevin god, Stapleton, that's... The Staples fortune, Look up mantis shrimp. Um, heir to the they will, fortune, like... Surprisingly. Lou Carrera, who discovered a what? diamond mine within an emerald It's basically... I think it... took a grenade for his comrades and then just walked it off. I think it's Max a equivalent of like a nine millimeter bullet hitting something. Bolt. Omega Fighter, also known as the Mountain King. I think it also sparks fire. Not the really good look 
paint this room for me. He's kind of good looking, but he's not the really good looking one. Skylos, oh. who was the only person who's graduated from Giga Harvard. Sky Strider, who Giga can't Harvard? help but be featured in every history book since the turn of the millennium. Tiago Nascimento, who upset a great white in a fish eating competition. Garunda, the last one you'd expect to be a centaur, but here we are. Oh, Zubi, I guess he's you a can kill a man centaur. in 20 different ways with anything found in your average 21st century murder emporium and knife shop. Other huge oh, shoutouts go to casual. brother, fuck you money patrons, Burb, Buddha Jacker, Charlie Rock Quigley, Danger Shager, Daniel Ward, Emperor Tromedlov Dromai, Eric Barney, etc. Finish Blood, Fritz oh, Sullivan, God. Harrison There's Poland, so many. Jared Berkman, John, Misha Boblov, Nopetron, Pran of Prem, Sean Martin, Soup Cube, The Sinking Bubble, and You Frickin' Nerd. And of course, my God over analyzers, yep. Alex Fritz, Alan Garvin, Ali Kim, He, may, he Dan, makes Andrew a good Watson, amount Austin from Gavin, Patreon. Alan I'll give him that. Brand Muffin, Cameron O'Solo, Kanon Corpse, Charles Barnett, Dan Bertel, David Carlisle, DJ Jack, Do Mutual Aid, Dominic Saint, Distant, yep. Earth 2 John, It's Curtain, Jacob Freese, Jake the Garden Rake, James Hamlin, Jay Lambo, Jeremy Rubenstein, I'm Jim so Bo glad Bo I Baca, never did that. Joshua Bone, so Justin glad Scott, I never Kadex, did that. Keon Gilliland, Lady Serena, Lehman Russ, More Liberal weight. NASA rocket scientist, Matthew Stargell, Mitchell Gobrecht, Morius 007, Nickel Pickle 582, Nicholas Abbott, Omar, Papa Chaka, Parker, Back to the Basics Gas, Radiator Rat, Rocket Mist, yep. Shadow Fox Nero, Sky Not Darkened, Spory, Stein One, Super Snipper, Tiny Knight, Travis Chestnut, Triad Juice, Wilbur, Steady Paycheck Mode, and Wolfman Dan. Next up, we have the Boiling Rock. Part oh, two. Oh boy, I hope no one gets boiled, I guess. No. Return to subscribe to Lizard. Next one has May and Tylee, like, uh, Azula shows up. It's a, I, I just love this episode. Zuko being a bro with Sokka. I love the planning, you know, seeing Suki. And I don't know. I just really like this. I guess it wasn't the most popular, but I really enjoyed it. I'm sure Kimp Dog also enjoys it as well, which is one of the people that leaves some comments down below. A lot of people like Caleb also leaves some really good comments. So I read all the comments to leave some down below. You might want to read some as well. You'll learn actually some neat things about Avatar. Um, if you do read the comments, because I read every single comment. I hope to subscribe to some of these future videos. Patrons will get the next video a day early like always but i hope you have a wonderful rest today and hope i made a time a little better but until the next video take care and keep the music we were